the much anticipated Armory Art Show kicks off Thursday and runs through the weekend ahead. So what are some of the must-see highlights? Here with a preview is Spencer Bailey, editor-in-chief of Surface Magazine, the American magazine of global design. Welcome, Spencer. Great to have you here. Thanks. Great to be here. If you could first tell us about the importance of the Armory Art Show to the larger art world. Sure. I mean, the Armory Art Show is basically one of many that happens throughout the year in cities like Basel and Miami. Um, but this is the one time uh, in New York in the spring, really, where it's like all the art world people are here and it's sort of everyone's convening in one place. That's exciting. Yeah. And who gets to decide whose art is shown? It's a gallerist, the ultimately. Gallery? Yeah, I mean, so it, it, it runs in different ways because each gallery uh, typically buys a booth and then, right. you know, they get to choose which artists within their own portfolio they bring to exhibit. Um, but there also is at the fair uh, usually uh, sections for emerging artists. Um, so there sometimes are platforms within the fairs themselves where emerging artists can um, be showcased. And it focuses on contemporary art, correct? So are some right. of the materials non-traditional? Right. Um, yeah, there's one work I, I saw at the fair yesterday. I can't remember the name of the artist, but it was a, a pretty exceptional um, work. It looked almost like a painting, but it was made out of all recycled computer parts. Very so, exciting. So, I, I mean, you're seeing material play, you know, aesthetic play, all of that. Very exciting. Now, tell us about some of the standout pieces you particularly liked. Right. Um, there was one piece uh, in particular that stood out to me uh, outside of uh, editing. I play the drums, and th this piece was actually a literal drum. Um, so I was immediately attracted to it, um, and inside the drum was neon. Um, it's by the artist Ivan Navarro. He's a Chilean artist. Um, That's non-traditional. That's very. His cool. work is yeah. His work is largely in neon, and he's become a, a pretty big name in global art. Uh, he actually had an exhibition at Madison Square Park a couple years ago, and this particular work kind of is an infinity room within a drum. So you're basically looking into the drum, and it keeps repeating in infinity. Sounds like a lot of fun. What about Kay Hassan? Yeah, Kay Hassan was an artist I'd, I'd never heard of. Um, but is at the Jack Shaman Gallery's booth. Uh, and that gallery really specializes in African art and African American art. And Kay's work is just really exceptional. I could spot it from basically a football field away. It's this huge mural made out of paper and kind of collaged together. Exciting. And what about Patrick Jacobs? Did you like? Yeah, yeah Patrick's work uh, caught my attention. It was sort of the opposite of Kay's in that it was very tiny. It was in this little glass prism and super detailed. The craftsmanship that went into it. It was exceptional and I was asking myself how he made it. So Beautiful. Yeah. Looks stunning. Now are there some, some consistently good booths that you look forward to seeing again? I know I just mentioned uh, Jack Shane and I would definitely say that that's the booth yeah. that uh, at least the past two or three years has really stood out to me. Just the range of work uh, artists including Nick Cave, Hank Willis Thomas, um, I just think it's been a consistently strong boot. Some of your favorites. Yeah. Now, this is a big all-around art weekend in New York, so are there some other goings-on? Totally. I mean, th this time of year is always exciting. I think a lot of the museums put on their best shows um, in the spring and summer, and the galleries in Chelsea also put on great shows. Uh, Gagosian Gallery right now has one of my favorite shows. It's the artist Taryn Simon. Uh, she did work where she basically photographed bouquets, and they look like very simple bouquets, but then you learn the backstory of those bouquets, and it's actually political, um, and it's sort of showing this interaction between art and society, and she took the bouquets uh, and recreated them from old photographs that right. were basically major convenings such as the signing of the Patriot Act in oh, 2005. Wow. Very so these were these were taken from political meetings um, and then recreated with the help of a botanic garden and then photographed and presented in her own way. Oh, very interesting. Now you have a sort of a global bird's eye view of the arts world right. from your perch. So what is it that makes the New York art scene distinct, do you think? Um, <laughs> it's a question I, I actually continually ask myself because the art world's become so global. So why why is New York different from LA? or different from London. Um, I still think there's a lot of artistic talent in the city. There's a lot of schools such as 
Pratt and SVA that foster art. So a lot of young artists come here to study, and I think that kind of helps generate it. Right. The city has become very expensive, and as such, it's harder and harder for artists to live here. So I think that that's changing the culture a little bit. Yeah. But the gallery scene is still very strong, and there's still a lot of the, the best galleries in the world here in New York. Very exciting. Now, final question. If you are gallery hopping this weekend, yeah. any watering holes where you're likely to run across art scene uh, wigs? <laughs> I'm sure there's many. Um, I'd have to just, you know, mention the Four Seasons here because the Four Seasons actually yesterday or the day before was awarded um, or announced as the inaugural winner of the James Beard Design Icon oh, there Award. You go. And I, I, you know, it's about to go undergo a, a renovation, so I think. It's probably a, a safe, safe bet, bet yeah. to, to guess that there's some art world power players hanging out at the Four Seasons. Sounds like you have a fun weekend ahead. And anyone <laughs> else who wants to check out the art here in New York, Spencer sure. Bailey, thank yeah. you so much Great for that. Thing.